All right, my loves. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Uh, we're on to part four, I believe. Part four of my palette collection. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster because if I don't, I'm going to have 20 parts and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm ready to start doing my makeup in front of the camera again. <clears throat> Excuse me, today my allergies are being crazy. <clears throat> So if I sniff or if I sound nasally, that is why I uh, I have some serious allergies going on. Uh, so again, we're just going to go through this real quick. Uh, some of these are not my favorite palettes. These are definitely not my favorite palettes, but they are part of my collection and I didn't want to leave them out. Uh, so these are my hard candy ones. These are actually really nice. Again, this is drugstore. Uh, I like that these come with this little uh, dual ended brush. The brush actually is not bad. This is the hard candy... 1702 this is the berry delish palette i actually like the packaging this little part right here is actually a little teeny tiny mirror um i don't know what good that's gonna do anybody but uh, it's there i guess uh these are really nice uh, it's a really pretty color story again it's drugstore so it's gonna be shimmer heavy uh but the shimmers are actually pretty nice i mean i have used this palette a couple times and I've actually gotten some really pretty eye looks out of it. Let's do this mauve matte really real quick. They're pretty. They're pretty. They're pigmented. Uh, I would say that this is on par with the Wet n Wild formula. It's really nice. It's one of the better. It's definitely one of the better drugstore formulas. So this is the Berry Delish palette. And then I have the Pinking of You palette. Uh, same, same story. It's pretty shimmer heavy. Actually, it is all shimmers. There are no mattes in this palette. Uh, this is a, a very beginner uh, eyeshadow palette. It's, again, got the dual-ended brush in here. I haven't even used this palette. I believe I've used a couple shades in here. Uh, but for the most part, I haven't touched it. They're just very light. And again, I come across that same problem I come across with a lot of the... Uh, drugstore palettes and it's that just the shades are too similar there's no there's no there's no it, they're, it's all the same color basically uh they all look very very similar on the eye uh the shimmer uh formula is very pretty it's very pretty they're nicely pigmented but again it's just i don't know this dark one is nice. Really beautiful shimmer formula. It's really nice pigmentation. Just not one of my favorite palettes. Uh, moving on. This one I got just because I thought it was really, really interesting. This is the Galactic Eyes from Hard Candy. Uh, this is kind of like a... These are foiled shades. Again, I really enjoy a good foiled shade. Uh, but these, I thought, had really interesting textures. You've got... Uh, glitter in some of them and then some of them are just oh i can't talk today some of them are just straight up metallics they're really pretty Th these are really nice to like this is again what i would call a, a companion palette it's really beautiful these are nice really really nice toppers they're great to kind of put on top of an already made matte look just to kind of accentuate everything this is really really nice it came with those little uh, foam tipped things that I just kind of tossed out because I don't need them. And every time I open the palette, they would just fall down on me. I, I keep this though, because I really, first of all, I like the packaging. I think it just looks cool. There's the back of it. Uh, I got this at Burke's again. I paid five bucks for it. I thought it was really cool. I just liked the color story. I liked the really metallic foiled shades and I didn't have anything quite like it in my, uh, collection so these are la colors everybody knows about la colors la colors is a really really uh very old school and a lot of times their quality is just trash um but this this is the peach fizz palette this is actually a really new one i got this at dollar general i saw it and it was orange and i just kind of had to have it uh, i really like it it's actually nicely pigmented it's actually really nicely pigmented uh there's different from a lot of the drugstore palettes this is actually very matte heavy so you've only got three shimmers in here and then the rest are mattes uh, and I like that there is actually some depth in here uh, you've got a lot of mid-tones and then you've got maybe one or two uh, deeper shades 
but it actually makes a really, really pretty eye look. The formula is not bad at all. They definitely have reformulated, so there's definitely more pigment going on here now. Again, it's nothing spectacular, but it's a cute little palette. Again, it's one of those palettes that's super easy to use. Not a lot of thinking required. You just kind of boom, 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 and you're done. I like it. I think I paid two, two fifty for it. Cute palette. This I have had forever. I got this at Dollar Tree when I was 16 years old. <laughs> I have had this palette. This palette has been with me longer than my child. <laughs> uh, and I will keep it because it, I do believe that this is uh, very likely the first uh makeup palette eyeshadow palette i ever bought i do i remember clearly uh when i bought it and i bought it the same time as i bought this one they were both at dollar tree uh they're the la colors super cheap there's no pigmentation there's no blendability they are hot water garbage but i keep them because they're my first palettes um i actually loved this one quite a bit this one was just like a pinky and you can tell how old it is. It's been dropped. It's been moved a million times. It has survived so many <laughs> of my big life um, events. And I'll, I'll probably have it forever just because of that. Uh, pigmentation on here is absolutely garbage. I don't know what I thought, but I used this bad boy. And every time I put it on my eyes, I thought I was just hot shit. I... I thought I was absolutely gorgeous. I will never get rid of this palette. It is so old. And so is this one. Oh, this one too. I bought these two at the same time. This is the LA Colors Sunflower. I got this at uh, Dollar Tree too. Paid a dollar for it. Uh, this one is actually a really nice um, kind of like bronzy moment. Again, I really like the ease of like the three five pan uh, palettes. This one is actually really nice. This one actually has some nice pigmentation. I used to wear this when I wanted to feel sexy and kind of like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's actually nicely pigmented. All three of those shades go really, really well together. You've got your crease shade. You've got your uh, crease shade, lid shade, and highlight shade, transition shade. Super, super easy to use. I actually really like the color story. Again, uh, they're nice and warm. I've used this a million times. I also really liked the kind of like flowers in the pans. I don't know. I'll never get rid of it. I'll have it for forever. I can't believe it's still pigmented though. And they haven't uh, hardened down yet. Like this palette, this palette's got to be, uh, 14, 13 years old. This is so crazy. All three of these. Um, and then the next two are recent purchases. Again, I saw these at uh, Dollar General and I just thought they looked kind of cool. And I really just bought them because I wanted to check out the formula, see if they had reformulated, um, if they had gotten any better. So this is the Rose palette and this is the Nude palette. Uh, they suck. Uh, they're, they're not great. I tried to use it once or twice. Again, it comes with the little foam applicator that doesn't do anything for anybody. I do like that the shades are labeled, so everything is just kind of really uh, straightforward, very user-friendly. Again, I would say that these are very much beginner palettes. These are very much for uh, the young lady or a uh, young man who is j just kind of dipping their toes into makeup and is just trying to learn about color and stuff. Uh, these these shadows are not terrible. I mean, there's pigment there. They're not, they're not great, but they're not terrible. They're definitely better than these ones over here for sure. Uh, the highlight is very, very powdery and really it, it just looks like powder. There's no, there's not really much uh, shimmer there at all to speak of, mm, but these ones are actually really nice. I do enjoy the rose one more so than the nude one. The nude one, I feel like, just doesn't have, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this highlight actually might be pretty. That's kind of pretty. I don't know if that's going to show up uh, or not. Let's go ahead and start using this arm. Uh, but you've got your crease shades. It says it on the pan. You've got crease shades over here. You've got lid shades, and then you've got your highlights. I... 
I love how straightforward it is. I love that they kind of just labeled everything for you. I, I do think that the pigmentation is better on the rose palette. I feel like this, they just kind of missed the mark a little bit. I feel like the tones are nice, but the pigmentation just isn't, it's just not really there. I have them. They're in my collection. I like the packaging. I feel like LA Colors is kind of trying to step it up just a little bit, but for the most part, I would say that yeah, they're, it's definitely beginner makeup. Nothing super special about it. I, I prefer the hard candy formula over the LA Color formula for sure. Again, the hard candy I feel like is uh, up to par with the Wet n Wild. And Wet n Wild is actually really, really nice. So next we're going to move on to... Let's do some... Uh, the very last of my low-end drugstore, so let's move on to Revlon. I just have a couple of the Revlon palettes. I picked these up just because, you guys, they're labeled. <laughs> they're labeled. They're super easy. Um, you've got a liner, your base, you know, you've got your crease color, your highlight color, your inner corner. Everything is labeled. It's very nice and straightforward. I really liked uh, this color story. I thought it was, it's it's warm toned again. Uh, you've got a really nice pink shimmer in there. I, this is just really pretty. They're again, teeny, teeny, tiny. I feel like uh, they cost more than they're worth. But again, you have a little diagram on the back of what goes where. It's, it's a very brain dead palette for me. And I just like the color story. And this is again, one of those things that I keep. Uh, I usually keep at least one of these like, uh, emergency makeup bags in every single one of my purses so that's what I buy these for I just kind of shove it in there with a uh, with a matching lip gloss and an eyeliner and lipstick and we're good to go uh, these are just kind of my emergency stashes uh, but these are really nice these are uh, from all may uh, these are the intense eye color shadow palettes this is the green one I'm not sure which oh green yeah this is just called greens 040 greens and then this is the 010 browns they're super pretty. They're nice. This one's kind of like a dark brown, purpley kind of color story. And this one's more of like a, a warm, neutral color story. Very, very pretty. Super easy to use and great for like when you're in a rush or, you know, emergency situation. Uh, the next ones I'm going to talk about are my Technique palettes. Now, Technique is a UK brand. Uh, they're from across the pond, for sure. Um, I actually heard about this brand from Steph Toms. Stephanie Toms, she is a YouTuber. I watch her quite religiously. Uh, and she is actually an ambassador for this brand. Uh, she has, uh, oh my gosh, collaborated with them on a couple occasions, I believe. And that uh, this shadow quality is actually excellent. I actually, uh, I found, I, I found all of my Technique palettes at Burke's. So I believe you could probably find them at Burke's, Mar Mar Ooh, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, stuff like that. This is the Be Fearless palette. I actually have used this palette on my husband. I have a video uh, on my Facebook channel, Facebook page, where my husband let me sit there and do a full face of glam on him. <laughs> that one's super fun. You, you should go check that one out. But I actually used this palette. I really enjoy this palette. I got this palette for, oops, it says it was supposed to be for $4.99, but I believe I got it for $2 uh, because this shade was busted out. It, and it makes me sad because it was it's called Lagoon, and I'm sure it would have been a really beautiful green-blue shade. Uh, but the rest of the palette is fully intact. This formula is it, it's, it's great. It is a great, great, very pigmented, very blendable formula. Uh, it's one of my faves. I, I really, really do enjoy it. I like the color story of this palette. Again, I like the depth that it's got. You've got some really light shades, and then it goes down to very, very deep shades. Uh, this black is fantastic. It is very saturated, very black, very deep, very nice. Uh, this brown, this cocoa color is, again, so pretty. They're very nicely pigmented. The shimmers are gorgeous. So pretty. Uh, let's do, let's do this green one right here. This green shade, I think, is so, so beautiful. It's just a very deep, dark, oh, 
it's got it's like green but it's got like specks of gold and silver in there it's a very beautiful green shade uh this palette is perfect for glam it's perfect for like deep and dark uh perfect for a smoky eye i like that there's warm tones in here as well it's like a warm tone glam palette it's beautiful i love this palette so much this is the technique technique be fearless palette so so nice uh if you come across this one uh, get it for sure because it's a really really nice palette i have a bunch of this style of the technique palettes uh these i pay four dollars a piece for they're worth every penny this is just a warm toned uh this is the venus rising and these are pressed pigment palettes so they can cause a little bit of staining but because they're pressed pigments, they are so pigmented. I'm not going to swatch every single one of these because uh, some of the color stories are fairly similar. Uh, but I love this coral shade right here. It's a very vibrant, almost hot coral shade. It's so pretty. And they are so pigmented. I mean, they really, and they really just go on the eye so effortlessly. I love the shimmer for, uh, formula. They remind me very much of Revolution Cosmetics, but I feel like these are just a little bit better. I feel like the mattes are definitely better. They're definitely more blendable. And I feel like the uh, the consistency, the, the quality consistency is much better. Like, they're very consistent. They're all the same formula. They're all the same wonderful formula. And I just have not been disappointed by it. A single one of these palettes so this again was the Venus rising it's just a very beautiful uh, I would say this is a sunset palette <clears throat> a very beautiful warm toned sunset palette again I like that there's nice depth here you've got lighter tones you've got some deeper tones there's a nice mix of mattes to shimmers uh, it's it's actually really really nice it's one of my favorite palettes uh, the next one I have is a bigger palette this is the the heat is on so again, I would say this is just a warm toned neutral palette. Uh, they stick to what they know. They know that they do neutrals well, that they, and they know that that's what sells. So that's what they do. Uh, but I really just love something about their tones. They're so, so pretty. This is uh, a bigger pan. You've got more shades in here, uh, but the pans are a bit smaller, which I actually don't mind at all. Again, you've got a really nice deep dark black here, which is really good. You've got some really uh, light tones up here. Uh, this is very matte heavy, which, I, which you guys know I enjoy. Uh, the shimmers are fantastic. There's nothing bad I have to say about this palette. I love this palette as well. Uh, the next one I have is the... Uh, uh, bougie palette. Now this one reminds me of cheetah print, leopard print. This, this is glam to me. I could add this with even like a really dark vampy bold, uh, lip, or I could do red, or I could even go nude with it and do like an everyday kind of soft glam moment with this as well. This is just beautiful. This is, this is very much soft glam to me. And I really, really love this palette. Uh, I think some of the tones are really kind of unique. I love this gold here. It's kind of got like a green cast to it. This one is like a very like deep um, brass, maybe, um, I don't know. I'll swatch for you guys so you guys can see. Their shimmers are so pretty. It's like kind of like a grungy, uh, like antique brass color. It is so, so pretty. Love it so much. Uh, Again, let me do one of the mattes for you guys. Nicely pigmented. They're super creamy. I would say that this formula is almost velvety in a way. It's just, it's, oh, they're so, so good. And for, how much did I pay? I paid three. I pay four dollars a piece for these palettes, guys. I, like, if you come across it, jump on it. They're so, so nice. Uh, it's definitely a good addition to your collection and it is something that you will use time and time again the formula is just spot on it's so easy to use i love them so much the next one i have is the persian violet now i think that this one is a riff off of the naked decay ultraviolet palette i just feel like some of the shades are pretty similar this is a purple toned nude palette again all of their palettes are pretty pretty nude uh, that's kind of what they stick to but i do like the this is more of a cool toned palette. I like the purples in here. This purple is stunning. It is a really beautiful kind of like topper almost, but it's like, 
it gives me unicorn vibes it's like it's a duochrome so it's got shifts of like that really beautiful deep purple but then it goes to like this magenta it's really beautiful i don't know if my camera is going to pick it up but this topper shade is just gorgeous uh this shade on top of this darker purple is oh so so pretty the next one I have is the Sierra Sunset. Uh, this I would say is more of like a corally neutral palette. You've got a, a lot of really nice pinky peachy tones in here. Uh, I like that they put the darker shades in here for contrast. Uh, yeah, uh, this is mostly mattes, which I really, really like. I, I have done a lot of really, really nice eye looks with this palette. Again, a very neutral palette, but I would say that this one leads more towards the pinky neutral, uh, very corally, super pretty. Uh, the next one I have is the Urban Jungle. Uh, same same kind of thing. I, I feel like these palettes are basically the same thing, uh, except this one is just a bit darker. And I don't know. They're pretty much the same palette. But I have them both just because you guys know I like to collect. Uh, it was Technique, and I really like this brand. So I just went ahead and got it. I haven't touched this palette yet, um, but that's because I just usually go uh, more towards this one. I feel like these two are very very much the same so this is the ultra the persian violet and then this is the urban jungle i feel like they're very very similar uh slight variations and tones but still pretty much the same palette i never said they were super innovative or anything like that but they are consistent and they are consistently good now this one is one of my favorite palettes this is what i call a khaki palette uh this is a very uh like army kind of grungy uh, palette this, this is you've got some really beautiful khaki shades in here this is the shaken not stirred palette i love this palette i feel like um a good khaki palette is very difficult to find and just the greens in here along with the camels and the kind of like grungy smoky uh vibe that this palette gives off it's really really beautiful again i like the depth of this palette you've got this really beautiful uh bright white shade um to kind of offset all of the kind of smoky grungy uh, neutral shades. It's a really beautiful palette. Uh, you can make some really very interesting eye looks with this. You pair this with a warm tone nude lipstick and you are golden. Uh, it's oh, it's so good. Uh, this is a very fall palette to me. I will be rocking this all fall long. It's just kind of got that, that vibe to me. I will swatch a couple of the colors. There is this really beautiful kind of like teal, smoky teal color that's gorgeous i also really really like this like smoky green this is what i would call maybe like an army green color but it's just like it's it's so grungy and it's so oh. and then this color paired with this like bright camel color those two colors together are just stunning so so pretty and then you can always go into this kind of like a uh, pop like on your brow bone or your inner corner so so pretty this is a beautiful palette definitely one of my favorites oh and I just dug my nail into it don't you hate when that happens I hate when I do that okay so uh moving on uh next to last this is the peanut butter and jelly palette <laughs> I just got it because I thought the name was super cute uh, I guess I can see uh, where they get that you've got some warm uh neutral kind of brown peanutty shades and then you've got like some uh, berry colors around here very pretty palette again it's just it, it is basically a very neutral palette uh, nothing mind-blowing but they're so good they're so good they're so easy to use their shimmers are so beautiful their mattes are like velvety and smooth and easy to blend. I really, really do love this brand. Now, the last one I have to talk about is the Hot Foil Palette. This is just a foiled palette. And when I say they remind me very much of Makeup Revolution, they very, very much remind me of Makeup Revolution. Uh, they, they, they are not as crazy and out there because uh, they are a smaller brand, but the, the, the formula, the, the foil formula is a very, very similar. And I love Makeup Revolution's foil formula. This one is not far. It, it, I mean, it's right up there. I actually might enjoy this one just a little bit better. And it's just because I really enjoy the colors. This is more of kind of like a pastel a grungy pastel uh, foil pa uh, palette. But I just thought it was so unique. I really love the tones. And I don't have foils 
like this. Look how pretty that is. Look at the reflect, look at the shine. Uh, the pink, very much the same way. Uh, these are very glittery. Very, very pretty. They, they're just the shine. And uh, one of the reasons I like these is because these can be toppers. Uh, I, I have a foil palette that I can use that's very pigmented, but these are light enough that I can put them over a corresponding matte shadow and it just kind of brings it to life. It makes it glow in a way that is so, so pretty. Uh, these are stunning. Uh, this red one is actually really, really nice. Uh, deeply pigmented and really, really easy to use. They're st I mean, they're so pretty, this gold. I mean, look at that. How bright is that? They're just so pretty. This green one has got to be my favorite though. I just love the glittery glowiness of these uh, shadows. So, so pretty. Uh, the next ones we're gonna talk about are my NYX palettes. I have a few of these. Uh, NYX is definitely one of my favorite uh, up-and-coming drugstore. I mean, I know NYX is established, and NYX makes a lot of my favorite, like, powders, and definitely my favorite eyeliners and things like that, uh, but I just recently got into their eyeshadows, and their eyeshadows are nice. They're super pigmented. I like the color stories. Uh, they're not a lot of like super innovative uh, color stories, but they are very nice. Uh, this is the ultimate edit. This is the Phoenix one. So this is just like a very warm toned kind of sunset vibe palette. This is the NYX ultimate edit. This is the brights. So it's just kind of like a, a, a rainbow palette. I really like the tones of this palette. I really like this like corally shade, peachy, pinky, corally shade. They're nicely pigmented. I mean, they're not the best. I feel like uh, this formula and this formula are different. I feel like these ones are so, so good. These are so pigmented, uh, but they're soft. They're nice. They're easy to use. They're very blendable. They're just pretty, and I have them. Uh, they are fairly expensive for being a drugstore brand, so just letting you know, but the Mystic Petals ones are some of my favorites. Uh, this one I just absolutely adore. This is a very purple, uh, heavy palette, um, but you can do a purple smoky eye with this in a heartbeat. Uh, I like that they put some lighter shades, and then you've got some deeper shades. I like that there's some nice contrast in here. Again, uh, it is a bit shimmer heavy for my... Uh, for my taste but the shimmers are not like so shimmery that I can't work with them and they are very nicely pigmented these are beautiful these palettes are so pretty so pretty uh, so I have the mystic petals midnight orchid and then I also have the mystic petals uh, dark mystic now this one is great this is a very like deep, mysterious, smoky, uh, green palette. This is gorgeous. I love this palette so, so much. Just the color story. I love this deep, dark green, and I love that they didn't put black with it. I love that they went instead with a very deep browns. Green and brown go so beautifully together anyway, and just the mixture. And then this mauve here, this like dusty rose mauve is so beautiful. Just kind of blended in with everything. And then again, I really like this color right here. So this is kind of like a silvery, kind of like smoky color, but then it's got like a purple undertone to it. It is gorgeous. This is a very unique shade to me. And I really love putting this on the inner corner and the brow bone, uh, or even cutting a crease with that color. Uh, it's just, it's so, so pretty. So yes, love those. Uh, the last ones I'm going to talk about, about the last of my NYX palettes are the NYX Ultimates. So I have four of them. This is the Warm Neutrals, just a Warm Neutral palette. Really pretty. 
uh, kind of small pans. These are $18, by the way. So kind of pricey for the amount of shadow that you get, especially for a drugstore. Uh, these are on par with the Milani. And if I had to pick, um, I would I would pick a Milani palette if Milani would just come on with the color stories. If they would just get a bit more uh, brave with their color stories, I would be all on board for it. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful. Again, I like the ratio of mattes to shimmers. It is a bit shimmer heavy, but the shimmers are not like in your face foiled shimmers. They're very nice, soft, ooh, soft, soft shimmers. Really beautiful. A lot of really light tones. You've got some. Uh, some deeper tones down here. Uh, I do think that this palette is missing some mid tones. I feel like you go from really light to really deep and you're kind of missing something in between. So it, you just have to be smart about your color choices when you use this palette, but still really nice. Uh, the next one I have is the NYX Ultimate Festival palette. This one I love. Uh, this is probably, I think, my newest NYX palette. They just came out with this one recently. This coral shade is to die for. Uh, this purple shade is absolutely just phenomenal. Uh, these are so brightly pigmented. Look at that. I just, there's something about that like magenta, pinky, electric, purple, oh, that I just can't get enough of. I absolutely love this color. The, the way they put this palette together is just oh, to die for. And I even like that it's matte heavy. It is a very matte heavy uh, palette. And then you've got some really beautiful shimmers in here. I love that they put a black in here so you can deepen and darken up your crease a little bit. And it contrasts really well with the like bright electric neon uh, colors that they have in here. This is a fantastic palette. I believe it's worth every penny of the $18 they ask for it. Next one is the Ultimate Utopia. Uh, this one is really beautiful as well. This one I would say is more of a cool toned palette. Uh, this screams soft glam to me for some reason. It is a very cool toned soft glam palette. Again, I like the way that they go from really light to really dark. There's a lot of dimension in this palette. I think that the shimmers are very unique. This green kind of sparkly shimmer is absolutely stunning. so so pretty on the eye it translates really really well you put it over i use it as a topper uh, for this darker kind of like bluish green uh, it's just like a very very dark teal it, it, it's beautiful I, I love this green toned kind of chartreuse foiled shade i just oh i love that shade it's like baby puke but in the best way possible so so pretty uh the last one i have is the brights palette so this one is just it's just a rainbow palette it's like the quintessential uh rainbow palette i like the shades in here again uh this is matte heavy which i appreciate uh, i love all of the like corally pinky tones up here um it's just it's a really pretty take on a rainbow palette very pigmented uh very easy to blend uh not patchy at all beautiful and they're very accessible they're at walmart so i can get my hands on on these without having to wait two weeks for shipping and all that good stuff so yeah they make me happy <laughs> i'm glad i have them uh the last ones i'm gonna talk about today are my beauty treats palettes uh these i get from burks again these uh big ones i paid six dollars a piece for and again uh, the reason i have so many because they are all very very similar i have puppy hair everywhere because it gets everywhere okay I love this palette this is a very beautiful coral I believe this is called coral crush is it uh no this is work of art this is the beauty treats work of art palette now these palettes are very very shimmer heavy heavy very very shimmer heavy um, but I just loved the tones of this palette. I am a sucker for anything coral. It is my favorite color on the planet Earth. I, I love this palette. I just loved the color story. It just makes me happy to look at it. Again, very shimmer heavy. Uh, most drugstore palettes are. I'm not sure if Beauty Treats is a drugstore brand, but the quality and kind of like the price range, I'm just kind of lumping it in with my drugstore palettes. They're nicely pigmented though. Again, they're easy to use. Uh, the shimmers are gorgeous. Super bright, super pigmented. Uh, there's not a lot of depth in this palette, but that's okay because you've got not lots of nice textures to play, 
to play with. Uh, again, I would probably pair this with like a neutral matte palette just to make a full look, but I just loved the shades and I had to have it. So that is the work of art palette. I have the Spring Blossom palette as well. This one is more of like a neutral shimmer palette. a very much very much a neutral shimmer palette this one is leaning more on the peach side uh this is all shimmers every single one of these is a shimmer uh, again the shimmer uh, formula is kind of a softer shimmer like some of them you can use and they look like a matte so that's okay i really like this kind of like barbie pink here super pretty uh, th i mean the shimmer formula is great you do need to have kind of like, like I said, a, a matte companion palette to go with it. But I just like the tones. It's good quality shimmers. And, you know, the packaging is super cheap. Nothing to write home about. But for three, four bucks, they're cute. Uh, the next one I have is the Spring Shimmer. This one is more of like a mauve kind of like a deeper, more smoky shimmer palette. Uh, this has got a lot more of the like uh, deeper mauves and the brown shimmers in it really nice not very nicely pigmented uh so pretty it's they're just pretty they're just pretty and i like them and i have them so i use them this is like a really kind of interesting uh like dove gray shimmer super pretty that was the spring uh spring shimmer palette and this is the crystal crush one this is the first one of these palettes that I got. Again, the pinks and corals kind of uh, drew me in. Uh, this is this one has a couple of, you know those like really sparse glitter gels? Uh, it's kind of like petroleum jelly with a little bit of glitter suspended uh, inside. That's what these are. There's two of these in this palette, which I was not stoked to find out about. Um, it's just it's not very good. It, they're not very glittery. They're not very shimmery. Uh, and it's like really, really sparse. Like it looks great on your finger, but then once you try to put it on anywhere, it's like the glitter just kind of, and then it dries and falls all down your face. So I don't use them. Uh, I wish I would have known that when I bought the next palette I'm about to show you. Uh, I wish I would have known that about the glitter formula <laughs> or I would not have wasted my money. But yeah, there's that palette. I really like some of the like orange shimmers down here. It's just really pretty shimmer palette. Next one I have is the all about glitter palette. Now the packaging on this is really nice. It's nice and heavy. It feels very solid. You've got um, like a button clasp and then it kind of pops open. You've got a mirror and then of course more of those uh, foam tipped things that nobody uses. And then you've got this really beautiful glitter palette. Now, I thought that these were pressed glitters. I was not aware that they were the like glitter gels. Um, so I thought it was just pressed glitters that I could use a glitter uh, glue with and just kind of like have a glitter palette. But no, uh, these are that glitter that's suspended in that, um, like I want to say KY jelly but like Vaseline and you like it doesn't pick up any I mean it doesn't pick up any glitter it is so pretty but then once it dries the glit like the Vaseline your skin soaks up the Vaseline and then the glitter has nothing left to stick to and it just kind of falls off your face I'm not sure what to do about it. I, I I love it, and I love all of the shades of glitter in here, but I paid, how much did I pay for this? I believe I paid damn near $15 for this palette, and I and I don't know how to use it. So if you could leave me a, com a comment, uh, let me know how to get around this, because I really want to use it. It's a beautiful glitter palette, but I just, the like, the Vaseline texture kind of throws me off. Super pretty palette though. And that, oh, I have one more. I have one more Beauty Treats palette. And then we will be done for uh, this round. This is the Beauty Treats Starlet palette. 
packaging is really, really pretty. I, again, it's coral. It's that really pretty pinky coral that I just absolutely adore. Um, and then you open it up, and not only does it kind of give you a couple looks and, and tell you how to do them, but you've got this really pretty, again, it is all shimmers, but it's a really pretty color story. Uh, you can make a really nice, soft, uh, kind of like smoky sparkly look with this palette and it is really pretty uh the the beauty treats shimmer formula is actually really nice it's pretty i mean it is not the best but it is pretty and when i get these at burks i usually get them on sale i always get them on sale and they're worth the price and that and I'm just kind of an addict and I just like to buy palettes to buy palettes but it's still really pretty um if you were interested in something like this I would tell you don't spend more than three or four bucks on it even though it is a very pretty palette it's it's kind of one-dimensional and it's all shimmers so you're gonna have to use another palette with it and the formula is nice but it's not fantastic but I like the packaging it's pretty <laughs> that is it for the video today i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are having a fantastic uh what is today wednesday hope you're having a fantastic wednesday i love you so so much mwah, mwah, mwah. stay safe take care of yourselves and remember you're important <laughs>